Hello, everybody, and welcome to World 1 1. This is going to be the Rigel Plays ongoing quest throughout the existence of this channel. Uh, it is a survival mode on the hardest difficulty game, and I'm going to be making it kind of like a tutorial in the beginning and in the end, just kind of taking suggestions as to what you might want to build, what you might want to see me explore, things like that. But it will be an ongoing quest. Uh, I've already started because I waste no time on the first day because you have no time on the first day. So I'm gathering up wood, and I'm really happy I've spawned next to sheep, which I will tell you about in a little bit. Uh, getting lumber is one of the most important things to do, just to start out with, because it helps you make your first tool, uh, which is the only one I ever make out of wood. And I will show you right now. So go ahead and press E to open up your inventory, and one piece of wood gets you four planks. So I'll take all of those and put it in this shape just to make a crafting table. And what a crafting table is is basically this. However, it's a lot larger, so you can have more room to make things. So I'm going to put down a couple of sticks, uh, just two planks next to each other, make a stick. Uh, and 32 should be good. And I'll hold on to the rest of these. A handle out of two sticks, and then three things on top, kind of looks like a pickaxe, and you make the wooden pickaxe, and that's, like I said, all I'm going to make out of wood for right now, and I'm going to gather up the crafting table and go about my merry way in search of stone. Now, the reason I make the pickaxe first is because, number one, stone takes forever to mine by hand. Number two, it doesn't yield anything. You saw I was readily able to yield the wood just by hitting it with my hand or another piece of wood. You have to use a pickaxe on stone. If you don't, it nothing will drop. These little floating cobblestone pieces that are coming out, they won't drop. You'll have just destroyed the matter. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do this until the pickaxe runs out uh, because I don't need it. It's made of wood and it's not going to last very long and I do need stone. So I'm just going to fast forward through this as I clear all of this. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna put the crafting table back down and I will make a slightly more full arsenal of tools. So I'm gonna remake that pickaxe. And you know what, I'm actually gonna make two just in case. And I'll put that here with its friend over top. Uh, an ax for cutting down trees, a shovel for digging, and then a sword, which is a different formula. The handle is shorter than the item itself. And that's all I'm gonna make right now. I'm gonna leave this open with the sticks and you will see why in just a moment. So, this is a stone, but it looks a little bit different. This is coal. It is, in my opinion, the most important thing in the game, especially early on. Coal allows you to cook, it gives you light, and it allows you to smelt. The most important thing, however, is that light aspect. Without light, monsters will spawn. So in the darkness, in caves, you'll find lots of monsters, or even just out here at night, there will be lots of monsters spawning, and you want to use the coal to make torches to prevent that from happening. All right, now the other thing I'm going to do is something that you should never do unless you're in my situation where you do not have iron, is I'm going to kill these sheep. Uh, I need three pieces of wool, Killing a sheep only yields one. Now, where did the rest of the sheep go? They know. They're hiding. They're, they're, they're wise to me. There they are. Uh, and shearing them yields, I think, up to three. And you also don't, you know, have to kill the animal. And it will grow the wool back is the whole point of not killing it. So, as, for, as of now, I do only need three. So, I am going to take a couple down uh, and you'll see why in a little bit. So I'm gonna go poke around and see what there is to see in this area and hopefully there's a lot. This is this is what I call just the kind of standard biome. It's not the snowy, it's not the desert, it's just kinda hanging out. And I think that's the area where I was before down there. Uh, there's more sheep I do need more animals, but I don't want them to be sheep because I can't eat sheep. 
and I do need food if I want to survive for very long at all in this world. Oh, qu'est-ce que c'est? This is a cave and a slightly deeper area than I anticipated it being. So, I am going to begin a staircase descent, which is to just say dig around the outside in the shape of a staircase until I get down. Uh, this will not help me get food, however it will get me coal, uh, and hopefully other resources like iron. Iron is what I'm going to be making my next set of tools out of, uh, and it is, it has the highest common to useful ratio, which is to say it's very common uh, compared to diamond, and it is very useful, however diamond is more useful and very uncommon. But iron will help me make tools and will help me make armor, uh, which I will need if I'm ever going to encounter monsters, which I will, and I'll actually need to fight them at some point. So this is a cave that leads to nothing. All right, perfect. That was that was wonderful. Great exploration. All right, let's keep going. Back out to the surface world. I apologize for the lag. I know there is a little bit, but that usually happens when I'm generating a new world, and I want to be just as blind to this as you guys are, so I'm not cheating the experience of making a new world and trying to survive. I don't want to have the chance to explore first. All right, I am getting hungry, as you can see by my little meat legs over there on the lower right side of my personal status bar. Um, a, if I am less than one, I believe, I will not regenerate health. So every time I lose health by either falling or getting hit by a monster or something or falling. Okay, we'll test that right now. Um, there's a pig on top of a tree. Now my health will not regenerate because I am hungry. And if I get all the way down to completely hungry, I'll actually lose almost all my health. I will lose uh, health up to half a heart or maybe one heart. But either way, it'll just act like I'm getting hit and I will be hungry. So I'm gonna kill this pig and see if I can get some meat off of him. All right, there's more around where there's, where there's one animal, there's almost always more. Where'd you go? I lost you in the lag. There you go. There's one on top of the tree, but I'll get to him in a minute. I don't need a terrible amount for now, just enough to survive. I think I have three. And that should be okay, unless I run into anything else. I will not hesitate to take it. Uh, pork, or pig meat, I guess. I don't know if it's called pork in the game. Uh, is the second best meat for getting full again. Uh, chicken has the least amount of hunger revival and cows have the most. There are so many sheep and no animals that I can eat except for those pigs. However, I fear the impending darkness because it comes very quickly on the first day of Minecraft. In fact, where's the sun? I think it's setting. So I'm gonna need to kill this chicken. And this one. And this one. I don't like to kill this many animals. Normally I'll make a farm and, and I'll breed them before I kill them. But as of right now, I just need to be able to survive the first night, which is coming very quickly. So I am going to quickly throw down my workbench, make a torch using coal, and I have no sticks. Great. Uh, I'm rushing a little bit, I'm panicking a little bit. A stick and a piece of coal, and I'll make a couple torches, and that's all I'll make right now. So I'm gonna pick up this crafting table and just make a very quick hidey hole 
by digging into the wall. It doesn't take much and I can just fill the hole back up with dirt unless of course that happens. In which case I'll just dig this way. Oh, you do not want me to have a hidey hole today, do you? You do want me to have a cave. I'm, I'm a little less perturbed now based on my having a cave status. So I'm going to put this torch up to get some light and then I will dig into the wall. 